Andy's idea was that Stuart was like the star of his own movie. Like, you know, like, and once he said that, like, it to made total sense to me. Like, he thinks he's like the leading man, romantic lead. He thinks he's like the, uh, you know, the, the action hero. He's going to save uh, Nicole. Uh, and then he gets, you know, just caught up in the wrong crowd. Um, so, yeah, that was, the, the, that kind of made a lot of sense to me and, and just made it seem just that much more fun to do. I got my head bashed into a car. I got shot up with a horse tranquilizer and then hit then hit with the golf club, which uh, Joel, the gentleman that, that played the part that, that hit me, he got, he, I think he, he got ten, 10 tries of it. I would say five times he missed. He, 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 I don't know what kind of golfer he is. I don't think he's a very good golfer. Andy's great. Like he's, su he's like super lenient and, and you know, and uh, supportive and I, I, I never get to hear it because I'm the one out there, but I guess he, he laughs at a lot of stuff that we do and, uh, you know, that's what you, that's what you, you, you kind of want someone that's like a fan of you, but also sort of sees a little bit more in you than you know you have to give and, and he, you know, as far as I know, I don't watch playback or anything like that, but I assume that I feel like I'll be taken care of in that, in that world. Yeah, I think he's got a good eye for, for comedy and so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. He's got a lot of stories. He can hold court. No, he, uh, yeah, if this acting thing doesn't work out, he could be the Scottish Mark Twain.